I just wanted to give you an overview of the schematic that I posted. The fact that I went ahead and wired everything up on my little test board prior to installing it. So what you see here is everything wired. It's just not connected directly to the sauna yet. So as you can see here, this terminal and this terminal is where the input for the high voltage lines will come in. It goes through here and through here and the output will come from here and here and it'll go to the sauna from there. <laughs> With all that said, in order to actuate this relay, this sun off switch here will trigger the relay to close the contact to allow current to flow. Once current flows here, this relay will close. It'll be triggered by the Inkbird temperature controller from the temperature proof. Okay. Now I have everything connected and it's mounted on the wall. The sauna is actually on the other side of this wall. It's in my, what I call my shop house. So this is built into my shop. So this right here is the controller. Controllers right here. So this line right here comes from my breaker. It goes in, it passes through this contactor here which is controlled by the on off switch. Current flows through here to the Inkbird controlled contactor. Then it flows this way to my sauna. So this second contactor is controlled by the Inkbird controller. Therefore, whenever you see the temperature right now, the bottom number is the 160. That's the set to temperature. The top temperature is what the current temperature is inside the sauna. So right now there's current flowing through both contactors because the set temperature did not get up to the 160 Fahrenheit yet. So this is the system. This did not cost me as much as Harvia would have charged me for a Wi-Fi controller. And this works absolutely fantastic. So I just wanted to give you guys a tutorial on the actual Inkbird app. I know I keep talking about it in the videos, Inkbird controller, temperature controller, etc. I just wanted to give you a sense of the actual app interface. So this is the screen that you'll be presented with when you open the app once you have this, the sauna controller actually set up. So as you can see right now it says it's just under 83 degrees Fahrenheit in the sauna because the temperature is coming down because I went sitting in it earlier this afternoon. And as you can see, it's set to 165. Well, the reason why it's not keeping up is because the way I set it up, I have the contactor that the Inkbird controller is hooked to after the contactor that the Sonoff switch is hooked to. So once I turn the Sonoff switch off itself, then there's no current flowing to the Inkbird contactor. With that said, what this will do though, it still keeps the contactor engaged. And if it's engaged, there's current flowing through those coils. Therefore, there's, there can be current flowing through the contactor if the contactor had a closed circuit before it, which that's not the case. So right now it's engaged. And I had created a script that way and using the Inkbird's interface here and I called it chill time because what it does at 11.15 every night, it lowers the temperature down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And all that does, because the temperature normally settles around 65 degrees to 60 degrees Fahrenheit inside the sauna, so once it settles down, this is well below it, then my contactor disengages, therefore it's not constantly up against it and having a closed circuit. So here, that's my automation tab, and then my tap to run tasks. I have my wife's temperature set up at a certain temperature, 
and mine set up to a certain temperature. So let's say for example, I run my wife's one. It says successful. We come look over here and it's set to 145. And if I go back to mine and I execute it, it's gonna come over here. We go look and it's set to 165. So that's it in a nutshell for the Inkbird controller. In addition to the Inkbird that we went ahead and just looked through for its app, I figured I'd go ahead and show the Sonoff Switch app as well. It uses an app called Ewalink, and that Ewalink app has this GUI right here. So it's real basic, it's real simple, because the very first contactor in my series is simply an on off switch. So that's all this will do. If I turn this on, now it's sent the my phone vibrated as another indicator that I actually turned it on. And so now that specific circuit is closed. So now there's current flowing through and now my heater's actually on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Now that it's off, we know we're good. There's no current flowing, heater's not on, and everyone is safe. So I just wanted to record this video to show the actual finished product. So this is my sauna here. I do not have the heater turned on right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and click it on with my phone. And as you can see, the lights lit up and you can hear the slight hum. And all I did was trigger it with the switch from HomeKit. It went ahead and provided power to the heater. And you can see right here, this is the cord and how I have it routed. And I have the temperature probe actually tucked behind the backrest here. And I have it offset temperature to where it equates to the temperature gauge right there. So that's it in a nutshell. I just wanted to give you the finished product. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please drop a comment below. Thanks for watching!